Okay, this is a very quick informal video just showing off something I've been working on where I am wanting to recreate the experience that the original Minecraft HoloLens demo had where you can take a Minecraft world and view it in AR. And with the advancements of web AR, I think this is possible. So today I've been working on turning my a Minecraft structure file, which you can make using the structure blocks or things like the end city are made out of them, and converting it into a 3D model. So here's a little house I made earlier that is viewable inside the 3D viewer program of Windows with the blocks and house. And the way this works is there's a open source node framework called Prismarine that lets you render Minecraft blocks and it renders it into a 3JS scene. And I just take the output of that 3JS scene and export it as a GLTF file, which is like this open source standard for models that's viewable online pretty easily. And that's what this base is. The goal is eventually to turn it into a USDZ file which you can then load into the browser of a iPhone, so in Safari, and place your model in AR, like in the 3D environment. I believe on Google, I can just use GLTF. So the first thing I might do is just set up a basic run with GLTF just to make sure that it's working and have everything there. So this is a building I made earlier, as I said. You can see I even placed the blocks wrong in some places but this little house and to show you how it works i'm going to make a new build in here so i need to open up minecraft right now i only have it working on minecraft 1.16.5 but the idea i think is that it will support 1.17 and all the way down to 1.8 um, it's just 1.17 that wasn't working for me, and I've only other tested on. I've only tested on 1.16.5, so let's go and create a single player world. Well, this is for, for video. We want a creative world, and I want to make it super flat. Create the world. What we're going to do is make just a little simple structure to show how this works. Um, difficulty peaceful. We don't want the splines there. So let's make a. Let's just grab some random blocks here. What about a bed? A red bed. A door. And some rails here. So let's just make a weird little structure. Bed there, like that. Let's put a door on it, and then let's run some rail around it. I think I need normal rail here. There we go. So this is our weird little thing. So I can give myself give two three two zero a structure block. And we'll place it there. We'll switch this to save mode. And I'm just going to say 5 by 2 by 5, 1, negative 1, 1, test, then, oops, wrong direction. So, save, bullet to position. One, minus one, one, five, by five, by three, and test. Bar, four, four. So there's a little thing structured, and we also got the ground below. Call it test. I'm going to save this. So it's saved to my files here. So now we can go into our app data for Minecraft. What's of that? Um, 
saves for video generated Minecraft structures test.mbt. I'm going to copy that into my project here. I have to just change this to test.mbt. And if I do node index.js, it will generate our model dot what's our name one three oh seven here it is and look here's our weird little thing huh the beds didn't get added so they must be entities or something because I'm not supporting entities right now or beds don't show up in structure files but that's the general idea of what I'm doing um the ultimate goal as I said is to get it viewable in AR I think the next step is to take my current node tool, convert it to a web server, so you can send it the MBT files and it will send you a model back. And there I can load it into a program like AR, uh, what's it called? Model Viewer, which is this program here. And the way it works is you give it the GLB file, which is just the compressed version of a GLTF file, and it gives you this little viewer in the browser and if you were looking at it on the phone you'd also have an option to view it in AR. So that's just this little update on this project and I will see you guys when I have more information about it.